I am Sebastian Fuller, and I'm the course director for the new MSc in Health Service Improvement and Evaluation. My name is Claire Keane. I've been helping develop this new Master's in Health Service Improvement and Evaluation. So this Master's is not a um, general global health master's program. Um, what we're looking for is people that are really interested in effectuating health systems and health service change. What we're doing is that we're looking at a really wide range of people for our students to, to come through and people that have a little bit of experience. Um, it doesn't need to be a huge amount of experience. Maybe it's um, it's just a year or so. Um, you can look at the, um, the actual requirements on the website, um, but we're really, I can't emphasize enough how much we're looking at um, a wide range of different experiences from students. And that's so that we can build on those experiences and develop them so that people can become the health system change makers that they envision themselves to be. The Masters is designed to develop graduates that can go out into the world and be problem solvers in a really complicated, complex health service environment. So what we've done is created opportunities for the students to apply the knowledge and the skills that they're learning to very real world type projects along the way. So whether that's in class or in the assessments that they are doing to pass the course. So we don't have any traditional written exams. All the assessments that we have in this course are replications of what you would do in the role that you will take once you have graduated from the master's. So for example, the dissertation is in the form of a mock funding proposal. So you have to think through all the different facets that you need to consider when you're developing a project and applying for funding. And that gives you the experience to have done it before and something that you can put on your CV. Another example is our team project. So for that, the group needs to work as a multidisciplinary team to work through really understanding a problem in a particular context and then designing an intervention to address that problem, planning how you'll implement it and actually manage the change in the real world, and then design an evaluation to be able to think through how and why it might have worked and what impact it actually had. These sort of projects, whether you're working for an NGO or you're working for the Ministry of the Health or you're running a facility, that's how these projects play out, where you have to bring together a diverse team of very different people and very different skills and deliver a project. And we want to give our students an opportunity to do that in a very safe space where they've got the support for the technical challenges that they'll face in designing an intervention, but also being able to practice working in a team and practicing different team working and different team leading techniques so that they can build that side of their, their skills as well. When you're delivering a project in a complex healthcare environment, it always requires bringing together a mix of different people and a range of different skills, from health economics to clinicians to social scientists. The best projects that have impact consider all of these different aspects. So team working and Leading a team to be able to do that is a very, very important skill that's really underestimated. So in this course, we have a lot of support for our students to learn how to work in a team and how to lead a team. Because while some of these things are come naturally to some people, there are a lot of things that you can learn to do better with your natural talents and to learn how to do it, even if it's something that you find difficult. So what we've done is that um, our group has thought about, um, from our experience in health system and health service change around the world in many different contexts, what are the skills that would be needed to effectuate that change? What is it that graduates would need to do in the real world? And we've designed our program around that. For example, if you have a 
set of stakeholders that you're trying to bring on board with your idea for uh, for change within the service, how would you do that? You might do that in presentations. You might do that in written briefs. Um, you might need to uh, use infographics. Um, so we're going to impart those skills onto students so that they can use them in their real life, in the real world, um, in order to bring about the change that they seek.